Applied Software Advanced MEP Fabrication Series. Service Validation. This advanced topic lesson is applicable to Autodesk Fabrication CAD MEP. Finding and resolving clashes within a complex model can be time consuming. Several runtime clash detection functions are covered in the Fabrication CAD MEP Fundamentals course, but the Fab Viewer offers additional error detection capabilities that are useful for finding connector mismatches, duplicate items, and clashes between multiple services. In this lesson, we're going to learn how to locate open ends, clashes, duplicates, and connector mismatches using the Fab Viewer. First thing we'll do is open up our exercise drawing named Service Validation. Inside of this drawing, we have connector mismatches, duplicates, collisions. We will locate them using a Fab Viewer. Fab Viewer can be found by flying out our View Utilities and selecting the Fab Viewer button. Then we'll be prompted to select which items we'd like to view in the Fab Viewer. We'll select everything in our model. Now inside the Fab Viewer, we're going to right click and select Workspace. In our Workspace, we'll switch to the Filter tab and change our filter to Service Name. And we'll select the service that we want to validate and right click and first we'll check for connectivity. It tells us here that we have four open ends found and one connectivity mismatch. In the lower section of our workspace will be a list of all the checks we've made on this particular drawing. Inside of our model, it has marked each of these instances with a number and a symbol. Also, if you right click on one of those instances and click go to, it will take you right to the spot in the model where that is happening. So let's look at our connectivity. So we have a connector mismatch between these two items. So we'll solve that and then come back in. We're going to hit close. So this is the item that has the connector mismatch. You can see that it had S and D. We need to switch that to TDC. Now we'll run our check again. We're going to select the check that we already ran and then have it recheck it. Now we can see that our connectivity has been fixed. So let's do the same thing to locate any duplicates in our drawing. Again, I'm going to select a service to run this on and check for duplicates. So now I have a duplicate report and it's telling me that I have one duplicate found. Again, I'll right click, hit go to, and it will take me to that duplicate. So I have a transition here that's been put in twice. We'll hit close, select one of our duplicates, delete it, and return to the Fab Viewer. Select our duplicate check. And now it reads status of fixed. 
You can also use this to check for collisions between two services. So I'll select my filters. Again, selecting service name. And I'll select two services to run a collision check. It's telling me that I have four conflicts found. I hit OK. And each of those conflicts are marked in my drawing. So we can use go to like we did before. Or we can select isolate so the collision is all we see in our model. So let's go into our model and solve our collision by hitting close. So we can see that our pipe is hitting our duct almost all the way through our model. To solve it, I'm going to make my design line active. Go into my line editor. Select the lines that I want to change the elevation on. Right click on those items, click elevation, and set my new elevation of 134. OK, OK, and refill our design line. I'm going to close my design line interface, return to a plan view, and run my collision check one more time. So we've solved all but one collision. We're going to repeat the process until our model is clash free.